terrified ghost caught on camera. The Curse The popular Japanese YouTube paranormal channel, Fourth Wall, says that they were sent strange footage of two guys exploring an abandoned apartment complex. As is common in Japanese videos, the identities of the two friends are kept anonymous with facial blurring. So this abandoned apartment complex is said to be haunted and locals tell of a single door on one of the five floors that is unlocked. The story goes that once you step inside the unlocked apartment door, you will be cursed. But nevertheless, these guys are determined to find out if the creepy stories are true. The explorers hop the fence surrounding the complex and quietly begin checking each and every door. All the doors on the first and second floor are locked so they head up to the third floor when something stops them in their tracks. The two explorers are confused as they hear an eerie voice say in Japanese, Stay away. Now, most people would consider this a warning to leave, but these guys just kind of shrug it off and continue on. They keep checking for any unlocked apartment doors, but they have no idea that it now seems like they are being watched. Did you see it? As they are heading back up to the third floor, a mysterious translucent figure can be seen staring at them from the landing on the fifth floor across the plaza. A few moments later and a shadow can be seen, this time on the second floor, again on the other side of the courtyard. The explorers have no idea what they just captured, and it was the channel Fourth Wall that actually found the strange unexplained figures and pointed them out. So completely unaware of what's happening around them, they are still trying to find that one unlocked door that is said to be cursed. As they are checking doors on the fourth floor, they hear something above them. The guys hear a loud bang that sounds like a door slamming shut on the fifth floor. When one of them goes up alone to check it out, he sees something so scary that they both just make a run for it. Could it be that he actually saw one of the strange figures that they unknowingly captured on camera? The video ends without an explanation, so I guess we'll just never know. But is the apartment complex really haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide.
Meanwhile, on TikTok. Now this next video was shared with me through different TikTok posts multiple times. But after some research, I discovered that the original post came from Reddit. So I'm putting it in this segment, but with credit to the original Reddit poster. So, Reddit user Princess Lena 87 says that late one night, her two friends were hanging out at their house in Colombia. After the two girls had had a bit too much to drink, they decided to film a few short videos just for fun. The two girls were alone at the time, but one of the videos they recorded seems to show an uninvited guest. Did you see it? The video is cut short, but right before it ends, a very creepy red face can be seen right behind the two unsuspecting girls. The strange distorted face seems to have glowing eyes. Reddit user Princess Lena 87 believes the face to be something evil. She says that her friend has since moved out of this house after her family went through some very bad times. So did the friends accidentally capture something dark and sinister on camera? Or is it just a very bizarre optical illusion? What do you think? TikToker Lauren Rose has a TikTok account dedicated to videos of her cute cats and dogs. However, one night her cat Sasuke is acting very strange. Lauren pulls out her phone to record the cat's odd behavior. But when she brightens the footage, she is shocked. Sasuke, what are you looking at? Oh my God. A creepy shadow figure can be seen walking through the kitchen area in the back. Lauren says she was home alone and has no idea who or what this dark, ominous figure could be. Left with basically no other options, she says she might just have to burn it with fire. <laughs> but let me know what you think this could be. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Reflections. First time ghost hunter Bono from the YouTube channel ILMN Bono Paranormal travels to an abandoned car parts factory in the city of Ostrava in the Czech Republic. The factory has been abandoned for almost 60 years after a large explosion in the building tragically took the lives of several workers. After the incident, the factory was declared to be a very unsafe work environment and was forced to close down for good. However, Locals claim that some of the deceased factory workers just never left. They say that the restless spirits of the workers still roam the abandoned factory hallways. First time YouTube ghost hunter Bono is carefully exploring the large empty building when suddenly he hears a very unexpected sound. <laughs> Bano has no idea where the loud sound came from and is a bit freaked out, but little does he know that things are about to get even creepier. As Bono is exploring one of the rooms, a closet door opens on its own. He just manages to capture the incident as he pans his camera around the room. The first time explorer is shocked to his core and he just makes a run for it. But after a little time to calm down, Bono decides to continue his exploration through the haunted factory. It did not 
go well. A tady kámo, tady to pro mega creepy třeba. Tady jsou nějaké fuj, bych nejet moc teda. Tady jsou kabinety, nějaká divná věc na zdi. A... <laughs> This time a chair mysteriously slides across the floor all on its own. And now Bono has had enough. He decides to just get out of there. Now the strange unexplained bang, the closet opening on its own, and the chair inexplicably sliding across the floor are spooky enough. But there's something even creepier in this video. Something that Bono didn't even notice. When Bono uploads his video, a few keen-eyed YouTube viewers point out to him that he had actually caught something downright chilling. But did you see it? As Bono enters one of the many rooms inside the factory, a shadow figure can be seen reflected in the window right in front of the unsuspecting explorer. Strangely enough, the source of the reflection cannot even be seen in front of the camera, even though it seems to pass right in front of him. Now, this is not simply an odd double reflection. Note that the figure is moving sideways, and there is no second reflection of Bono's light or camera. So, did Bono unknowingly capture one of the spirits that lost their lives in the tragic factory accident 60 years ago? Let me know. What you think? The Farmhouse Paranormal investigators Cody and Sean from the YouTube channel The New Reality Paranormal are investigating a farmhouse in Southern California that's been abandoned since the late 1980s. They believe the property to be haunted by a sinister male entity named Frank, whom they suspect to be responsible for the deaths of at least two women. During one of their live streams, they discovered that they might have actually captured one of the spirits on camera. What the? was that? Dude, did you just hear that, bro? It was a shuffle behind you? What was that? A strange white mist seems to float up towards the light that Cody is holding. Now, this certainly could just be dust particles or an odd trick of the light, but it's very strange that the mist seems to travel upwards right towards Cody's light. And then, in their newest video at the farm, they capture some evidence that is much harder to explain. This time, the guys are joined by Eric from the YouTube channel Exploring with Eric. So, New Reality Paranormal team member Sean conducts a blind spirit box session. What this basically means is that he is blindfolded and the only sound he can hear is from the spirit box. He can't hear or see anything else around him. And so, he just randomly repeats aloud what he hears from the spirit box. Meanwhile, Cody and Eric get a little spooked as they start to hear other strange sounds and voices all around them. But their camera mics just aren't picking them up. However, they do manage to capture one very strange whisper. Wow. I just got shivered all over my body. Did you hear that? What was, what, what was that, dude? I had a nervous I just heard a hey, voice. I, did. I, just, I just heard, heard a hey, dude. Right. Dude. I'm nervous. I just heard a voice. I did. I just heard a hey, dude. Right. I don't. I'm in the other room. Oh. I, get out of here. Woman's voice. You heard that, right? I heard that loud. Enough. What's going here, dude? Not safe. Woman's Woman. voice. Try another male voice. Jesus. Woman's voice. Please go, woman's voice. Oh, Steven oh. is here. here. Who's Steven? Right. Another guy. Guy, guy. This place is haunted. Something cold is touching my knee right now. You got me. Oh, voice. New Reality Paranormal static camera captures what appears to be a strange dark figure making very odd movements 
at the edge of the frame. As Eric and Cody come back from the other room, you can clearly see that they are not carrying a light source that could have created the shadow. There are no other lights, so whatever was casting the dark shape would have had to been in the same room with Sean and in between the two cameras and the wall. However, there's nothing there. So just what is this? Did the new reality paranormal team capture something supernatural lurking in a haunted farmhouse? Let me know what you think down in the comments. By the way, Sean and Cody from the New Reality Paranormal have plans to do a five-part series of this creepy abandoned farmhouse, so be sure to check out their YouTube channel for upcoming videos. Through the Looking Glass Now this next story might seem very familiar to you if you are a regular viewer of this channel. Now, over the course of a year, Facebook user Abiud Hernandez Alvarez has captured many terrifying paranormal experiences on camera and shared his experiences on his Facebook page for hundreds of thousands of people to see. Abiud claims that his apartment in Mexico City has been haunted for over a year by a restless female spirit. In Abiud's home, books are thrown off his shelves. He often hears unexplained knocking and slamming sounds on his windows and doors. What sounds like a woman in high heels can be heard walking through his apartment, slamming doors in what seems like a fit of rage. And strangest of all, this. As Abiud is panning his camera past a mirror, a woman can be seen sitting in a chair that only seconds earlier was completely empty. Even stranger, when he turns back around, the creepy apparition of the woman is gone. There's no one there. It has now been a few months since Abiud captured the apparition of the woman in the mirror. He says that ever since that day, the constant paranormal activity in his home has grown more violent and upsetting. He says he's now unable to get any sleep because, quote, she will not leave him alone. What started out as harmless, strange occurrences has grown into what seems to be an angry, restless entity that is slowly making Abiud's life absolutely miserable. But Abiud continues sharing his strange experiences on his Facebook page. As an experiment, he points his camera towards the mirror in which he caught the mysterious apparition of a woman. After almost three weeks of recording the mirror every single day, the camera finally captures something truly bizarre. The mirror begins to shake and a chain hanging at the top seems to move on its own. Then very weird things start happening to the camera. And strangest of all, 
the mirror reflection actually captures the bizarre camera movements. In the reflection, you can see that there's no one behind the camera, yet it moves, turns upside down, and the digital viewfinder slams open and closed. But it gets even creepier. One night, the power mysteriously goes off in Abiud's apartment, and things around the house seem to be moving all on their own. Abiud grabs his camera and starts recording the strange occurrences. While he's filming, he once again captures something absolutely terrifying. Se han estado escuchando ruidos en toda la casa y de alguna forma no sé si estoy tratando de decirme algo de una forma más directa. Se escucha más aquí en la sala y en la recámara he tratado de dejar a Dina también en la sala, en las sillas, en todos lados porque ha habido más movimiento. Pero las campanas ya... ¡Ay, cabrón! Esto también es lo que quería decir, o sea, Kugi ha estado cambiando de posición en toda la recámara y pues no sé a qué se deba, solo ocurre en la recámara. Esto también ha estado sucediendo, e incluso dejé un poco de harina en lo que es el asiento y pero no, no lo voy a distinguir mucho. Voy a tratar de leer esta misma hoja con más calma en, en otro momento. Y bueno, los murmullo de la chica. Me cerraron la ventana. Pero aquí, aquí se escuchan los murmullos y no lo ver. No pienso abrir la puerta en esta ocasión. Definitivamente no. Now, there are a lot of things happening in this video, so let's break them down. The door slams, and then when Abiud opens it, a teddy bear that was sitting in a chair has mysteriously moved all the way across the room. A door slams shut. A chair slides across the floor on its own. The pages of a book flip over, and he hears unexplained knocking at his front door. But there's one truly horrifying event that Abiud didn't even notice when he recorded the video. So, did you see it? When Abiud hears something closing his window and turns around, the creepy female apparition is back, this time in the reflection of the mirror in the living room. When Abiud pans around the room only seconds later, there's no one there. The frightening apparition seems to have disappeared once again. So could it be that Abiud captured the ghost of the woman that's haunting his apartment? Not once, but twice? What do you think? Now just as a side note, Abiud Hernandez Alvarez absolutely refuses to create a YouTube channel, and he does not monetize or sell any of his videos. Abiud says he is only interested in sharing his scary experiences and is grateful for the unexpected attention that he has received. So is it all real? Or is it all a very, very elaborate hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching for channel updates and other weird stuff. Follow me on Instagram here and on Twitter right there. I'll see you next week.